Hi, this is Step School, the third part of the Kalman filter course. After covering this video, you will have a solid understanding how to deal with multivariate Gaussian distributions. And it will be the last video before covering the Kalman filter itself. As we discussed in the last video, we have to deal with vectors, multivariate random variables, to understand the Kalman filter. And to avoid jumping into complex topics, let's consider some simple examples. To uh, describe the weather, we can use a temperature, pressure, and humidity measurements. Or to define the robot position, we can use x, y, and z axis coordinates. So in both situations, we end up with uh, vectors with, with three elements. And uh, uh, in our uh, case, we consider every element of the vector as a Gaussian random variable. Uh, however, just defining the elements as, as Gaussian random variables is not enough, because we also have to define the relation uh, between each pair of the elements when, when, we, uh, when we work with uh, multivariate random variables. And to do that, we have to understand a correlation concept. And, and, and for that, let's consider this simple example. Imagine that we measure temper temperature each day for, for one year. Also, we measure the, the quantity of ice cream sold in every day. So in the end, we will end up with this um, plot. So in x-axis, we have the temperature. In y-axis, we have the quantity of ice cream. So in our picture, we have 365 dots. So every dot represents the, the measurement of temperature and the quantity of ice cream for, for each day. So as you see, when temperature increases, for example, during the summer, during the summer people tend to buy more ice cream. However, when the temperature drops, for example, during the winter, people uh, tend to buy less ice cream. So what it means is that even these two quantities are random variables, they are correlated. So the increase of one quantity uh, means that it is highly likely that the second quantity will also increase. And um, so in that situation, we have uh, correlated uh, random variables. Next, let's consider this example where instead of ice cream, we have hot chocolate. Um, and uh, as you see, when the temperature increases, for example, during the summer, people uh, tend to buy less hot chocolate. But when the temperature drops during the winter, people buy more hot chocolate. So in that situation, we have negatively correlated random variables. And uh, finally, we have uh, temperature and the quantity of coffee. In that case, we don't have any correlation. That's why we end up with this distribution of the random variables. So we have to define the correlation between each pair when we uh, work with uh, multivariate random variables. And to understand how we can do that, uh, let's consider an uh, example where we have two dimensional random variable x1 and x2. And the first thing we need to do is to define the, the mean vector. So we have a mu x1 and mu x2 to define the, the center of the distribution. So uh, it is very similar to, to the mean uh, concept in one dimensional uh, random variables. And next, we have the covariance matrix. And this is the important point. Uh, it, it is important to understand this concept. So the first, we measure the variance, variances of uh, x1 and x2, as we did for one-dimensional random variables. So these variances will be the diagonal elements of the covariance matrix. So here we have sigma square x1 and the sigma 2 x2 and for this element the first row and the second column we have to compute the covariance between um, x1 and x2 and for that purpose we can use 
this equation, which is very similar to the uh, to the equation of, of the variance. So here we have a sigma x1 and a sigma x2. So this quantity defines the, the correlation between these two random variables. And also it is worth mentioning that if we swap the, the random variables, so if we compute x2 and x1, we get exactly the same value. So it means that the covariance matrix is, is symmetrical. So this element is equal to this element. So when we uh, talk about a uh, multivariate uh, Gaussian distributions, we can use these two uh, quantities to describe the distribution. So instead of, uh, so the first is the mean vector and the second is covariance matrix. And it is very similar to uh, to the uh, one-dimensional Gaussian distribution where we had just a mean value instead of mean uh, mean vector and instead of a covariance matrix we had just the variance and here uh, if we have a three-dimensional random variable we can we have we end up with this mean vector and this covariance matrix So finally, we have to understand how linear transformations of multivariate Gaussian distributions affect the, the mean value and covariance matrix. So here we have y equals ax plus b, a and b are matrices, x is a multivariate Gaussian distribution with this mean vector and this covariance matrix, and the task is to find uh, the, the mean vector and the covariance of y. And to compute mean of y, we can use exactly the same equation, but, but instead of x, we just substitute mean vector. And to compute the covariance matrix of y, we can use this equation, a multiplied by the covariance matrix of x, then multiplied by a transpose. And finally, let me present you a MATLAB skip to show how these equations work. So here I have uh, two dimensional random variables. So I measure a thousand times and here I compute mean and the covariance and matrix of X. Then I define A and B matrices. Then I do a linear transformation. So we have Y, then I, I plot a Y. Um, random variable then i compute the covariance matrix of y using the equation that i showed then i compute the actual covariance uh, of, of y and here i compute again a mean of y using the equation and i compute the actual value of or actual mean of y so if i run this code So this is the uh, covariance matrix of y computed by uh, using the equation. And this is the actual value of, of the covariance matrix. So as you see, we have exactly the same values. And for mean, we, we have these mean values. And for, uh, for when computing the mean, we, we get exactly the same value. And also I plotted uh, the distributions of y, so we have thousand points. And for, for this axis, the mean value is around 0 0.2, as, as you see uh, from, from this uh, figure. And for the second uh, axis, we have the mean around 0 0.4. Also, if we look The, the covariance matrix, so the, the span are, on this axis would be around 0 0.2, the, the variance uh, on, on this axis would be 0 0.13. And the covariance between uh, x1 and x2 is, is a positive number, that's why we have this positive correlation. And this is the end of the video. You can find the complementary materials on my Patreon page and please don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos 
and see you next time.